Hello everybody and welcome to day one of my beginner sewing course. Today we'll be learning how to thread your sewing machine. Now, disclaimer, you might cry, you might want to give up, but I'm here to tell you this. Are you really going to give up at the first challenge? Really? That's embarrassing. No, in all seriousness, you're, you might cry, yes. But that's normal because you're getting familiar with your sewing machine. That's never easy. If you don't know anything about sewing machines, like that's the first hard step. But you gotta get through it and you will. So stop crying, please. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Just get through this. Now I'm going to be teaching you how to thread my sewing machine because that's the one I have. It is the uh, Senior Quantum Stylist. It's a pretty expensive model, so I don't suggest starting with that. I was just being really extra and I saw all the pretty stitches it could do, so I, I decided to choose that one. But don't go for the expensive one, like I said in the previous video. Just go with your budget, okay? Or do what I did. Ask a sewing machine for Christmas and say, I'm gonna go half. That worked, so you could do that. Now, if you don't have a quantum stylist, uh, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go on the website of your sewing machine. Let's just say it's a singer also. Um, you just go on the website, you choose your sewing machine. Uh, let's say you chose the heavy duty 4452 because that's the cheapest one and it's heavy duty and a lot of people love that. So let's just say you started with that one. You All you have to do is scroll down uh, to manuals, quick guides and videos and there's gonna be a lot of videos teaching you how to use it. Here we have stitches, sewing buttonholes, threading the needle, top drop in bobbin, presser foot pressure, everything you're ever gonna need. And if you just can't find how to thread the sewing machine, just type in how to thread and then write your sewing machine's name. There's gonna be a video on it for sure. I'm not even worried. Now, what you're gonna need for this video is your sewing machine, thread, and a empty bobbin. And that's all. Maybe scissors would help too, actually. Bring scissors. So the first step is to make sure that the power cord and the pedal are plugged into your machine. And then to turn it on. Now you're going to take your thread and make sure that the tail is behind and not in front. Place it in here and now put the cap back on. So as you can see, there are numbers on the machine telling you where the thread should go. So here we have a number one, and then here's number two, number three, and then number four. There's even little drawings to show you exactly how you're supposed to thread it. Just don't get confused with these numbers right here. You can see two, three, and then there's four, and then five, because those are to thread the actual sewing machine, where now we're just trying to thread the bobbin. So let's take your thread and start going to number one. Make sure it's well under. Then you can go to number two and it says to loop it like this. Then you pull it and you go to number three. Number three is a little harder, but just follow the drawing. So you put it under that little nook right here and then you follow the drawing. So put it under that little wheel in a circular motion and then you pull and you'll hear that little click and now you can pull and you see there's a little bit of tension now we're already at number four so you're going to take your empty bobbin and when you're threading it the thread should go from the inside to the outside like that and then you just place it in here And all you have to do is move it to the right. Once you move it to the right, this symbol will appear on your machine's screen and it's telling you that you are ready to thread the bobbin. And all you have to do is press on your pedal and it's just gonna thread itself. So to thread the bobbin, you're going to press on that pedal. Um, I would say go slowly at the beginning and then pick up the pace as you go. So as you press on the pedal, make sure you're holding the tail of your thread. So let's go slowly. And at some point, you can pick up the pace, and once you do, just let go of that thread. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna put too much in because I don't wanna waste any thread. Now you can just take your bobbin, put it back, and then the symbol on your machine screen is gonna leave. Now you're just gonna take it and trim the excess with a pair of scissors. Perfect. And now trim again and leave a tail like this. Now you can unthread this part like this. Now you're gonna go over to that little metal pallet and take off this plastic thing by just oh, pushing right on this black little lever. And now you're going to take your bobbin and place it in that circle in the shape of a P. So just place it here. And that thread needs to go here. So under this middle thing and this middle thing. So just hold it, bring some tension to it. So like this, and then make it go under. And that's it. And then you place this thing back. Now let's move on to the top thread. So you're gonna follow the numbers again. So number one here, and then number two is a line, and then three. And then four is a loop, five is another loop. Then you go to six, and after that, you'll just need to thread the needle. So when you're doing this, make sure that the thread goes in the crevices deep. So one, then you just follow two. Make sure it's down, down, down in here. Then you follow number four, and here you're going to loop. Make sure you go deep again. Then you loop at five. And then you go all the way down to six. So first things first, you have to put the thread under that metal hook right here. It's hard to see, but there it is. Now I find that the tail is a little long, so I'm going to trim it like this. So what you could do is just take your thread and put it in the needle hole, but this machine has an automatic needle threader, so we're gonna use that. So now in order to use the automatic threader, you're going to put your thread under that rectangle here, and then press down on this lever. Press hard, like that. When you press hard, this little metal thing is going to appear, look. And it's kind of like eating your needle. So now take your thread and put it inside the little teeth of the metal like that and make sure it's like all the way back there and hold some tension in the thread not too much but just a little and then while you're holding that tension let go of that lever and then you'll see it creates a little loop there is the loop so just pull on it pull on it pull on it pull on it then here you go your needle is threaded now, I think the tail is a little long again, so I'm just going to trim it. There we go. And now, you want your needle to grab the bottom thread right here. So in order to do that, you're going to hold this, the top thread. Again, have some tension in it. And while you're holding it with tension, you are going to click on that up and down button. And as you can see, it just grabs it. So now take your, take your scissors and bring it to the side and cut the thread again. And the bottom thread should be up. As you can see, the bobbin is turning as you do that. So now just take both your threads and put them in the back so they're out of the way. Let me show you that process again, but from another angle. So I'll just take this out. In a P again, goes under, and you place that back, cut off the excess, and then the up and down button. And you can see how it just grabs it. As you can see, the top thread creates a loop, and that's how it can bring the bottom thread up. It just grabs it and brings it to the top. So that when you pull on it, it brings it up. 
my threads are super long, so it's hard to see, but yeah. Look at the way it's coming from the bottom. Do you see? Coming from that hole right here. You can use the hand wheel uh, in order to move your needle if you don't have the up and down button. Just make sure you're always bringing it towards you. So if you use the hand wheel, you can do it whatever speed you would like. You can go fast or slow. And there you go, your machine is now fully threaded and you can start sewing. All right, everybody, that is the end of day one. Uh, good job, you successfully threaded your sewing machine, I hope. And if you didn't do it on the first try, which you probably didn't, do it again, right? That's your homework, hope you didn't forget. Now you have to do it and it has to become muscle memory so that the next time uh, we're sewing something, you can just thread it easily and move on to the sewing project. Now, maybe it was more difficult than you thought because every sewing machine is different and some are harder to work with than others. Um, don't give up, you know, like just keep doing it, keep practicing, keep getting better and it's all going to be okay. Good job. You made it through day one. Now there's only 29 more days of this. You got this. I will see you in the next one.